I am. And today I'm gonna talk about Vesa Previa. Okay, Vesa Previa. So Vesa Previa is a really very very important very emergency okay why is that because there's a bleeding from the fetal blood so when there is a fetus has a very little amount of blood and it's a bleeding from that means almost all the fetus is about to die okay so very lethal condition that's why what you have to do is go ahead with the uh, surgery that's a cesarean immediate cesarean delivery okay so usually in the history, in the in the examination, they will give that um, what you call a twenty-five year old female, okay, uh, around of uh, thirty-seven weeks of gestation, okay. Uh, she was brought to the um, birth unit and she a hospital birth unit, okay. On examination, uh, its uh, cervix is what you call as a six centimeter dilated. Good contractions are there, okay, 6 cm dilated, good contractions are there. So when you start to examine the vagina, suddenly you see the gushing of the blood, the gushing of the blood, very important, okay, gushing of the blood from the vagina, okay. Uh, and when you trace this, what you call, um, the fetal monitoring shows uh, bradycardia, bradycardia, very important, bradycardia, okay, around of uh, what you call, um, around the 60 beats, per minute 60 beats per minute and when you examine the mother mother is all right she's stable she's nothing she, she doesn't have any symptoms sign and symptoms of hypotension nothing like that so in this case scenario in this case scenario think of vasoprevia can, could be the cause for this complication for this what you call uh, symptoms okay um, so let's talk about this is really very important I will try to explain you with the diagram so if this is a uterus and this is what you call is a okay this is a uterus right and then we have what you call is uterus cervical loss internal cervical loss then we have this okay this is internal os okay and here is a the fetus it's a flex presentation I don't know, I'm not able to draw the right, okay, so please, his is hands, okay, these are his hands, this is a face, I want to draw the eyes, nose, okay, and then this is a back, and these are his legs, okay, and these are his legs, let me draw one leg, and more leg, okay, okay this if this is a presentation of this and this is a placenta over here placenta starts from here okay let's continue the placenta and here are the blood vessels this is known as a fetal blood vessels okay fetal blood vessels and again starts these fetal vessels join and forms what you call umbilical cord umbilical cord and goes here right to the oblicus so this is a fetal vessels okay and this is umbilical cord and this is placenta so placenta drives the blood from the mother right so what happens uh, was a previa is um, is present when uh, fetal blood vessels you see over here travels the fetal membranes over the internal cervical os when this uh, there is a rupture and that results in what you call a bleeding okay Either these vessels uh, may be found from either what you call the velamentous insertion of the umbilical cord or maybe joining the accessories, okay, known as uh, succinctuate placental lobe to the main disc of the placenta. Okay, if these fetal vessels rupture, then it will lead to more amount of blood loss from umbilical cord also, and this umbilical cord and the fetal, uh, what you call um, fetal death can take place, okay. So this is very uh, fatal condition, right? So remember, these vessels either they arrive from the velamentous insertion of the umbilical cord, or maybe they join the accessory placental lobes, okay, to the main disc of the placenta. 
Now the diagnosis, this is uh, rarely confirmed before the delivery and uh, you should suspect this disorder, uh, this disease, uh, this condition when antenatal sonogram with the color Doppler, color flow Doppler reveals vessel crossing the membranes over the internal cervical os. On ultrasound, if you find the color Doppler, if you find the blood vessels over in the inter near the internal os, you should suspect that this patient might undergo what you call a vasa previa during a labor, okay? Right, the diagnosis is usually confirmed after delivery on examination of the placenta and the fetal membranes. That's the final diagnosis. Okay, the clinical presentation remember the triad very important, as I said, is a triad is a rupture of the membrane, is very important. A rupture of the membrane, rupture of the membranes. Okay, and very important is a painless vaginal bleeding, painless vaginal bleeding, and fetal bradycardia. So what are the three, what you call them, uh, three triad for the classical triad for this uh, vessel previa is a rupture of the membrane. Usually it happens when you are doing amniotomy, artificial rupture of the membranes, okay. Uh, and painless vaginal bleeding, very important. And followed by what you call uh, fetal bradycardia. Okay, why bradycardia? Fetal bradycardia is because there is a blood loss from the fetal blood right there's a blood loss from the fetus that's why so what are the risk factors for this remember as i said if there's an insertion of elementus insertion of the umbilical cord or accessory placental lobes there is an accentuate okay and a multiple gestation could be the cause for this so in examination try to remember that sometimes they can give primary gravita rather than the multi gravita okay so it doesn't matter multi gravita so multiple gestation is also a risk factor though Mm -hmm. Right, so how do you manage is a really very emergency. That's why immediate cesarean delivery of the fetus is essential. Okay, that's a really very important step you have to do. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.